in Jeremiah chapter 52. In the way Jeremiah, Orike Jileni, a daughter. Jeremiah 52. We will lead Jeremiah, Orike Jileni, a daughter. One hundred signs. I want a me. O God, that you are under a siege. We or that it do to you. Hundred signs. I me. O God, that you are under a siege. We or that do to you. I'm praying for somebody here tonight. Don't for any kind of belashale. That every siege of the enemy against your life shall be scattered unto desolation. Jeremiah 52. Jeremiah, I read from verse 4. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, the tenth day of the month. That, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came. Nebuchadnezzar, he and all his army against Jerusalem. See Jerusalem and pitched against it. Also, dirty and big force against it round about. Also, mighty Yika Kiri. So the city was besieged. As the high lunar man. Unto the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. And in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city, so that there was no bread for the people of the land. Then the city was broken up. And all the men of war fled and went forth out of the city by night by the way of the gate between the two walls which was by the king's garden. Now the Chaldeans were by the city round about and they went by the way of the plain. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued after the king and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho and his army was scattered from him. Then they took the king and carried him up into the king of Babylon to Libla in the land of Hamath. Where he gave judgment upon him. And the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. He slew also all the princes of Judah in Libla. Then he put out the eyes of Zedekiah and the king of Babylon bound him in chains and carried him to Babylon and put him in prison to the day of his death. Everything started from a siege. What is a siege physically? In military language in warfare, what is a siege? A siege is a practice of surrounding and attacking a place. In such a way as to isolate that thing from help and supplies. A war in a law, at your own team, or yet you won't move. A siege is a method of reducing the resistance of defenders and making captive possible. Did not he any old yarn or that in Mukonito, woman lay Japada, cause the malady in a law, but a siege is a sort of prolonged and persistent effort to overcome resistance. It don't he need it, Bogu Lemon Lemon, Latile, Bori. And it don't they seek to surround the place and cut off its communications. It don't in a ye because that it can it bass or grow. In those days, that the Roman army will surround a place with a defensive wall around the area. I want more gloom, one more diabo me, 
ye it be conquer the cut off supplies wa ke gogo mi jiji ati mu mu guru they don't allow anybody to come out or anybody to go in oh ni pa ye gba ni keni lati jade tabi keni kokon wole this passage that we have read inu eteta ayoka yi for two years two years o di di odun meji gba ko the cardinal king of babylon mounted a powerful siege against jerusalem le bu cardinal ri oba babylon o mo di to lagbara Lord is he Jerusalem he built a wall around the city o mo di yi ilu awon ka he set up a strong goal around the city o gbe ibi giga kale yi ilu na ka by doing that he now converted the whole city to a large prison ni pa si se be o so gbogbo ilu awon di The people of the city were in prison inside their own city. Also awon ara ilu na di elewon sinu ilu won. They ensured that nobody brought in food, nobody brought out anything. Won ri pe nikan kan o ko nje wole enikan kan si ko nkan kan jade. You can't supply anything to the city, you can't take anything out. O le gbe nkan kan wa nu ilu na o si le gbe nkan jade lati Nobody can travel, nobody can travel out. Enikan o le rin ajo wole enikan kan si le rin ajo bota. The enemy ensured that nobody in that city received visitors. O ta ri daju pe ko se enikan koni ilu yen to gba alejo the enemy ensure that nobody in that city escaped to the outside world o ta ri daju pe enikan ni ilu ilu yen ko raye bo si ta please note carefully ejo we barabale ke ti o the enemy did not go violently upon the city no pe o ta o fi pa yawo ilu ilu na no shot was fired wo o yin bon No one was killed. Wo pe nikan kan. No house was burned. Wo da na su le kan kan. No slaves were taken. Wo keru keru. No one was kidnapped. Wo ti je ni ke ni pe. Life appeared to be going on normally inside the city. O jo wi pe ninu ilu ohun mo nse nkan won lo bo ti ye. For those who did not know that there was danger outside they were going to their parties they were doing all kinds of things inside the city. Wo awon ti o mo pe wu nbe lode ninu ilu won se ayeye won se faari won. But the hard truth was this. Igbo ti to e be gan gan ni pe. Although there was no visible violence shown but ile je pe won o ki eti won o si ri iwa ipa kankan ta se ti won all was not well nkan o lo dede the enemy outside the city or that in beni eyin o di ilu began to cause hardship within that city o ti bere si fa inira laarin ilu until every man of war fled at night the city gbogbo awon ologun fi sta lo loru that was a siege it don't see ni ye beloved ara satan adopts the same strategy and approach against individuals too satan ya ma lo ayi ni ke ati ete yi lo di si awon eniyan pelu if you get to my uri second king chapter 6 oba de le to ka iwe keji awon ba ori kepa you find a king called ben hadad how do you about kan ben hadad who use the same strategy against samaria to lo agbon kan na lo di si samaria the hunger became so much in the city people were eating their own children e bi pa awon eniyan ni ilu na de bi pe won bere se pa omo ara won je ben ada did not kill anybody ben ada di o pe ni kan kan yes sacked the city o kan mo di yi ilu na ka you can go out you can come in o le wole o le ja you can bring supplier e o le ko nkan kan wole call for help e o le bere fun ran lowo he never went into the city to cause any destruction o ya wo nu ilu na lati fa wa la he stayed outside e yin o di lo duro ti control events disastrously disastrously in the life of the people inside o si be si sakoso nkan to wa ninu le ninu aye awon eniyan lona to le wo to control kind of torment o da won loro lato kere outside the city there was so much food le yi o di ilu o nje pore pese but inside there was famine you go ninu ilu iyan mu outside there was so much life le yi o di ilu nkan lo yi gbari ba but inside was death you go ninu le iku ba o ja outside there was so much joy le yi o di ilu ayo po but inside was sorrow you go ninu ilu ibani je lowo outside the city there was so much light le yi o di ilu imole wa inside was darkness you go ninu ilu outside the city there was so much peace le yi o di ilu opolopo alafia lowo inside the city there was turbulence any good thing coming into the city was prevented or diverted o rere yo to ba be wonu ilu ohun inu kan dari re ti bo miran abi ko ma je wa so good things were not allowed to enter into the city wo je ki nkan rere o raye wo inu ilu na this is what is driving us our first prayer o ni o ni o mu wa wo inu adura wa koko because the first agenda of the siege is to prevent good things from entering to people so re o mu akoko di do ti fe mu ko ma sele ni pe ki nkan rere o ma wo nu aye awon eniyan allow good things to be happening also but not in the individual life yo je ki awon kan rere ma sele ni ta sugbon ko ni sele ni 
will raise up your voice and shout this with great anger. Go will raise up the cocky belly in the dinula. Pass. Abdala. Closing the gate of good things against me. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Makatendaya Boshendera Somebody is breaking through. And you can't see you are In Jesus' name we pray. So any good thing coming to the city was blocked out. On the contrary. Every evil thing. Death. Hunger. Disease. Sorrow. Fear. Found access into the city. A siege is therefore a terrible thing. Beloved. It's unfortunate but it is true. There are individuals. Families, I want Dilewa, communities, I want Lua, cities, I want Lu Iletoa, nations, I want Ilewa that are under siege spiritually. That is dirty, no matter me. They face no war. Ogun Ojawo, they are even never violently attacked. Ogun Ojawo, they are not raided or slain. Ogun Ojawo, no gun be any war. Ogun Ojawo, no gun be any war. Ogun Ojawo, no gun be any war. But things are not normal. You go and call Lord Ede. Other communities may have good roads. I want to let you know on a city to the highway where their own contractor will die. You go and buy shelter, you don't buy shelter, you want to have good. Other communities may have good hospital. I want to let you know one for a little to do that. But the doctor sent to them will flee or the building will collapse. You go and look at the number and answer that you want. In your quarter, lo, I be killing with some wo. Other communities may have very good schools. I want to let you know on the day they were told that. But this one, no schools. You go and let you know. But teachers are not willing. Teachers are not willing to go. I be calling teachers. I'm a bell lobe. Or builders. Other communities may have water and electricity. I want a little to me and let me know my no more not to me. But it doesn't work when it gets to this place. My brother called out to one. Every plan fails. Go go in your you. I'm a man. The good things they hear about outside the our city was never coming to the city. I want to call it to one. Go go in your lane. Let me know. Can you walk in your lane? Outside it is well with others, but inside. It goes bad. Listen and listen carefully. When a community, a city, a village is under a siege, whoever brings good things into the city does not prosper. He or she is ultimately frustrated out of the city or goes elsewhere to prosper. And the person will face a barrage of masculine powers fighting him or her. A girl under a siege. Will not get any serious marriage proposal. Only men who want to sleep with her will be approaching her. Something scares away the good men. When an individual is under a siege, everyone gets the benefits. But his name will not be included or will be missed out in error. When a person is under a siege, every time a positive destiny step is taken, there will be a rage from the bottom of hellfire. When the person is under a siege, anytime there is a good marriage proposal, the enemy goes to threaten the man or the woman to get out. We have had cases like this that the man proposes a woman in the dream is confirmed. Confronted by a strong man. 
If you dare go to that lady again, the lady is my wife. Don't move close. If you move close, you die. And to show you a sample of what will happen to you, they give you a dirty slap from the dream. He woke up with pain. His mouth shifted to one side. Any time the lady called, he ran away. Because he was afraid. That's a life under a siege. When the business is under a siege, the enemy drives away every approaching goodness. So that people will just be seeing those things with their eyes. They will hear about it with their ears, but never receive it. That's why I'm praying tonight. That anyone here under a siege of darkness, that siege must backfire tonight. Let your amen rule like thunder. Let your amen rule like thunder. When the person is under a siege, all others will get things done easily. But not the person under a siege. It will be so difficult. You'll be struggling and struggling. Outside will be fine. Things that will be tough for them. It seems so easy for others. It's so hard for them. And it, it goes on like this. It goes on like this. Until the person is forced to do a terrible going to the enemy for help in search of deliverance or going to cannibalism to sustain themselves this, this is a very very serious situation when your destiny is colorful when you are seen as a danger to the activities of the enemy when your life is about to make a positive history when heavens are planning your celebration when you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough when the time to sing your song and dance and dance is moving close when your testimony is about to explode when the final yoke is about to be broken when the defeat of your hardened enemies at the corner when the enemy sees that your victory is now non-negotiable when the enemy is afraid of your speed when your promotion and elevation has been announced in heaven when your case has been fast tracked in heaven when you are definitely positioned to make an impact in life when you have just won a major victory when there is a prophetic agenda for your life when you have been promoted above your enemies when you are determined to forget your expired past when your harvest is very right when you are about to cross your Red Sea when the power prolonging your problem is about to be buried permanently when you are beginning to tell the enemy enough is enough when you are set to overtake your superiors when you are determined to turn your scar to star when you are determined to go from zero to hero when your turning point is very near when the enemy sees that your, your blessing is irreversible when they are consulting local powers against you and they find that you are still succeeding. Then the only thing is to lay a siege. They lay a siege against the person. 
when a life is under a siege, there will be desolation. There will be emptiness. There will be fruitlessness. There will be poverty. There may even be total elimination. There will be waste. There will be waste. Life will be like you're in a jail. There will be the absence of essentials of life. The benefits of the person will be cut off. Because the person is under a siege. The person will be trapped in a satanic prison. Because you are under a siege. There will be lack. Anywhere you turn, there will be warfare. When a person is under a siege, there will be purposelessness. There will be purposelessness. There will be mediocre performance. There will be mediocre performance. There will be living a very lustful and loose life. There will be mediocre performance. There will be mediocre performance. There will be mediocre there will be death of prayer life there will be extreme frustration there will be, be mind operation I know a lady like that the enemy was determined that she would not move she was already realizing her family history she was outside this country to do a PhD the first person in the family the enemy seen that she is difficult to stop they laid a siege against her all of a sudden, in the classroom, she stopped speaking English. Here is a person who cannot even speak Yoruba properly. She speaks Pidgin Yoruba. She now refuses to speak English, the language with which they are teaching the course. She now was answering all questions in Yoruba language. Which the white lecturers did not understand. Say, speak English. Speak English now. We have to explain it in our mother tongue. They have to start talking about psychiatric hospitals. But, but it was a siege. When somebody is under a siege, there will be confusion of purpose. There will be lack of spiritual direction. You would make the wrong moves. There will be lack of peace. There will be this unusual spiritual sluggishness. There will be uncommon weaknesses. There will be tiredness. There will be the strong urge to quit your divine assignment. People will be start going back to their old bondages. People will begin to ask questions. Questions they didn't used to ask before. Things that, was very, that were very clear to them as Christians. There will be heavy discouragement. They will be struggling with all the relationships that are surrounding them. They can't, they can't sleep well. Something interrupts their sleep. There will be prayer paralysis. They will have terrible nightmares. The enemy will knock them down. They won't be able to stand up. It is at that time people begin to ask you where is your God. A siege is when your groaning supersedes your glory. A siege is when your depth your depth rules over your credit. A siege 
Idoji is when your laughter is cursed and your weeping is common. Ni igbati ere eniyan o je ohun to won gogo sugbon ti e kun si sun re wa de ohun to wo po. A sick is when you have developed black eyes and red eyes and a swollen face from the boxing match of life. O ni igbati oju eyan wu ete ga nitori pe o ti kanse ninu re ajo aye sick is when your life has more questions than answer. It don't in it, but yeah, yeah, in your back, kufu, ibere, ju idaun lo. The sick is when you are faced with uncommon disfavor. It don't in it, but I wrote you the letter, but you walk over the body. I'm praying for somebody here tonight. I say that every siege mounted against you. No matter how long it's been mounted, I command the siege to backfire in the name of Jesus. Let them backfire in the name of Jesus. Let them backfire in the name of Jesus. Let them backfire in the name of Jesus. Tonight, last year, is war against that siege. Ogun lo di ti do ti ni. When the siege was mounted against Samaria, nobody want to see Samaria, and the Lord wanted to deal with that siege. So Luwa di fe mu ido ti o unkuro. He wanted to deal with the siege. So Luwa fe do ju ko ido ti o. The method was quite simple. Ona ba yo kule. Very simple. Ororo. God just allowed the enemies. Ororo kan je ti awon ta. To hear sound, you want go ariwo. Sound ariwo that will scare them. To share the bawo. This is not the situation. Kishere ishele, where people just begin to make noise. Ti awo ni okon bere ti ariwo is a sound made by angels of God to scare the enemy away. Ariwo ti awo angeli oloro pa. God's servant spoke a specific prophetic word of deliverance. And, and God made the enemy so hear fearful noises. Which made them to scatter. It is the same procedure. The prophetic work that's already gone out tonight. That every siege laid against you from your mother's womb is scattered in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. Did they do necessary? And all eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Oh, see, if you are here, every day do do so very quickly now. By saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, Baba, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say that short prayer with me. Even that they will close. Come quickly to the altar here. So that we can help you more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The prayer of tonight is not a gentleman's prayer at all. If you want to adjust your headgear or scarf or beret or cap, you better adjust it. Because some of what we are going to be addressing now the siege has been there for years. Nebuchadnezzar was surrounding that city for two whole years. Imagine a, some war surrounding Lagos now for two years. Nobody can bring him food. Nobody can travel anywhere. It's a very serious situation indeed. When it's now transferring to the spirit realm, and they have laid a siege against you. And you don't ordain terrifying noises to scatter them. 
then the sage will destroy the person. Can I hear the sisters who are here tonight? Shout this louder than anyone around them. Each prayer you are going to pray here tonight. Ask multiple testimonies attached to it. So it's dangerous to keep quiet. Siege of darkness! Hear the word of the Lord. Can I hear the sisters shouting it again? All the people on the gallery, can I hear you shouting it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Let me hear the brothers shouting it loud and loud. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Scatter the siege Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Master Polikaya Boshente. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. Lord, now we need to be specific. You need to be specific. If it's your academic, say my academic. If it's your career, say my career. If it's my marriage, say my marriage. If it's my work with the Lord, say my work with the Lord. If it's my health, say my health. Siege of darkness! Mounted against my career. In the name of Jesus. Be specific now. Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, uh-huh. call Jesus. We are making tremendous progress. And she and need Why you talk for? Say. I declare loud and clear. My siege is over. In the name of Jesus. My siege is over. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. Listen. Listen very carefully. Once you begin to notice restlessness in your dream, you begin to notice fighting and fighting in your dream. 
you begin to find that you are always fighting some people. It is evidence of a siege. Certain powers have determined that we will not finish your race. It is unto those powers because the Bible says when man slept his enemies came. Can you shout this loud and clear? Give a name, no okay. Siege of darkness. <laughs> Mounted in my dream. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Let your voice roar like thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring out your mana water now. Mana water. Mana water. But listen carefully. Next Wednesday, Mana Water Service. You are going to come with two bottles. One, you need to drink it here. One, the second one, you need to go and pour it into your environment. It is time for environmental witchcraft to be disgraced. Two bottles. One, you use it to break your fast here. Yeah. Another one, you say, come and pour it in the cup. Hold that manna water now. Masse kapo le karebo se tende ke yaba. Manna rebo se pira le katenda. Father, we raise this water unto you. Let the authority of deliverance, authority of healing, authority of strength, authority of dominion, authority of breakthrough. Enter into this water in the name of Jesus. By the anointing upon this water, let every infirmity be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus flow into this water. Fire of God flow into this water. I sanctify, dedicate, consecrate this water. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And if you are drinking this water and using it to stand in gap for another person, immediately you drink that water, the problem of that person will vanish in the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. And make his face to shout upon you. And be gracious unto you. This prayer request, O oh Lord, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. How many bottles of sachet are you bringing next week? One, you use it to break your fast. The other one, pour it into your cup. We pour everything in that cup. Let us share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.